Sunny Valentine, I start with you. We were talking a few weeks ago and you were giving us that you thought you had a clear idea on most of the states. Maybe one state, I think MP, you were saying, you know, 100% sure which way it's going. Have the exit polls confused you a little bit or are you uh, still reasonably sure you know what's happening? Um, I could be reasonably assured because we are also doing a poll. Uh, yes, if you start looking at all the exit poll which came yesterday, uh, there's no doubt anybody can be confused. Uh, but if I look at the polls which we have done, we are going to release it shortly. Uh, my own sense is that uh, overall, it's a tight election in most of the state, except Chhattisgarh, where I think Congress still has a uh, decisive edge. Congress is certainly winning Chhattisgarh. But if you look at Rajasthan, Madhya Pradesh and Telangana, these are all tight elections. But in a tight election, it's a bipolar election in all the three states. One party would look like inching ahead. In my opinion, Congress has an edge in Telangana. BJP has a slight edge in Madhya Pradesh and slightly bigger edge in Rajasthan. So you're saying essentially Congress Telangana, Congress Chhattisgarh, BJP Rajasthan, BJP Madhya Pradesh. But you're saying slight edge in Madhya Pradesh and at least one or a couple of polls are saying 150 for the BJP in Madhya Pradesh. No, That's absolutely. I'm saying a slight edge. And Vikram, we should not forget the 2018 assembly election. What happened in 2018 assembly election in Madhya Pradesh, BJP got more votes. They ended up getting less seat. My own sense is that it is likely to be repeat of 2018 when it comes to vote share. I don't know how it's going to get converted into seats, but that's my sense that BJP is ahead by just a percent of vote, one, one and a half percent vote in Madhya Pradesh. Okay, so that's your overall picture.